war. This terrible, cruel, thieving thing that has plagued our world since the beginning of time. One of the most terrible wars our world has ever seen was the Great War, better known as World War I. The war to end all wars, as many people said during that time. Center RobertSchumann.org says that there was a total of 20 million deaths in World War I. About 10 million of those were civilians. This alone shows the brutality of this terrible war. Because of the massive impact that this war had on our world, there have been many books and films made to help the general public visualize what it may have been like during World War I. War Horse, originally a book, turned into a play, and then formatted into a Steven Spielberg movie, follows the life of a horse during World War I. It shows the journey of the horse throughout Europe and shows his different encounters with people during the war. The film shows some of the horrible parts of World War I that don't get as much attention as the more popular World War II movies. Still, War Horse is an extremely moving story that is as interesting as it is eye-opening. The movie begins in England with a man named Tom who sees a majestic horse at a horse auction. Tom had come for a plow horse, but the beautiful horse he saw was not a plow horse. Still, he ended up bidding much too highly for the horse, to the dismay of his wife. Tom's son, Albert, determined to keep the horse, promises to train the horse and plow the field. When the landlord comes to collect the rent and Tom doesn't have enough money, the landlord threatens to take Tom's farm away. Tom promises the landlord that they will have the money in the next few months once the field is plowed and planted. Tom, going slightly insane, goes to shoot the horse, now named Joey, but Albert jumps in front of the gun to stop his father from shooting. Now, this picture closest to me shows when Albert jumps in front of the gun. Albert, through time and determination, finally gets the plow on the horse. Although he had gotten the plow on Joey, Albert still needed Joey to be able to plow the field with it. This was extremely difficult because the ground was hard and full of rocks. Albert persevered, but to no avail. All of a sudden, it began to rain, softening the ground. They were then able to plow the field, plowing it so fast that people started calling Joe the miracle horse. Uh, the farthest picture is a picture of Albert plowing the field with Joey. After the victory in plowing the field, Albert believes he can finally keep Joey. But then the crop failed. Tom was forced to sell Joey to the British Army, leaving Albert heartbroken. It is here that Joey's journey across Europe begins. When Joey Jones joins the British Cavalry, he meets another horse, Topthorn, who accompanies him throughout much of the story. Joey travels from Albert to a British military officer, to two brothers in the German military, to a French girl, to pulling German artillery, to the British trenches, and back to Albert. Joey's journey takes the audience to all aspects of World War I. The film shows the awful parts of World War I, such as mustard gas, no man's land, the dying of a friend, and harsh conditions of the trenches. This story really shows an important part of history in an interesting way. It takes an ordinary horse and takes him throughout the different scenes of World War I. This movie shows the great reward of perseverance from the start of the movie to the very end.